So Kyle, you know, as, as we've talked about, many of us, if we're lucky, um, are continuing to go into work or continuing to work, uh, at least from home during this crisis. And mm -hmm. I'm sure there are many corporate organizational leaders who are watching this webcast. Um, how would you advise leaders to help best motivate their teams and care for their mental health mm -hmm. during this crisis? It's such a difficult time. So I think partially, as I shared earlier, and my friend Shamina shares on that podcast I recommended, it's called Two Quick Things, is recognizing that there's going to be a new normal, as Denise coined it, is we're going to look different. Our productive productivity is going to be different. So unless you're someone who's used to working from home all the time, your productivity is going to be different. And even someone like me who works from home, my productivity is different because clients, friends, people are reaching out stressed. When I go on Facebook, every single post is about COVID-19. So people are stressed and it's going to look different. The second piece that comes up for me is really asking your employees what they need and not assuming because for each person, it's going to look completely different. So really asking people what they need and how you can support them. And then third, what I'm saying is that job seekers, um, that's who I mostly work with, people looking for jobs, is they're looking at employers and saying, okay, how are you acting right now? How are you treating people, your customers and your employee during this pandemic? And that's going to determine whether they want to work with you or not work with you in the future. And don't be surprised, and I see memes going around, but don't be surprised if in three months, one of the first questions you get asked as an employer during an interview by a candidate is, how did you respond to COVID-19? How did you treat employees? How did you treat customers? Because you can either really quickly gain the support of your fans, or you can lose it depending on how you respond. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kyle. And uh, Denise, uh, it, it's helpful for leaders to understand psychology as well as neurobiology um, yeah. as, as you study um, to uh, help lead their teams as, most, as effectively as possible. So based on your knowledge of science, um, how would you advise leaders to help take care of their teams and, and help them stay productive and effective during this time? Yeah, so actually I'm just gonna share a little bit of science that really just backs up a lot of what Kyle has already said. And when I think about, you know, what are some really important things we can learn from psychology, you know, biology for leaders and for employers, um, I think of this really popular theory of motivation and it's called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. And mm -hmm. what this theory suggests is that there is this hierarchy or pyramid that there are basic needs that need to get met before you can go on to the next psychological need, before you can have self-fulfillment at the very top. And, you know, this really echoes what Kyle says, that we have to recognize as employers, supervisors, that we are all of this, right? This entire pyramid, we've got a boom, boom, before we can be our full, creative and productive self. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, the, the very building block of our needs are basic physiological needs. Um, do we have food? Do we have water? Do we have security? Um, do we have safety? And during a time where unemployment is skyrocketing, right? So people may be really having a hard time thinking about how to be productive and motivated and do their job if they're worried that they're gonna get laid off very soon. And as an employer or supervisor, if you know there are things you can tell your employees to help um, help them know what is, you know, if, if their job is secure, if you can, you know, you can pay them for that next month, that might help bring some um, security. So the next level after having your basic needs met is psychological, right? We need to have our needs of belonging, community, feeling like we're doing something important. And once um, those needs are met, then we can move on. Um, and right now, it's really hard to feel a sense of belonging sometimes because now we're working from home and we don't have our colleagues in our daily interactions. And so something that we do with my research team, I think I mentioned, which is having a virtual coffee hour every day where people mm -hmm. can come in and chat and we do game virtual game nights on Friday nights. And so we still have a uh, regular routinely scheduled online get together so that we can take care of each other at the psychological level. Um, and then, you know, and then if all of those needs are met, it's only then can we really think about the self-fulfillment of producing our, you know, most creative, most productive um, work. And so I think it's really important for employers to know, just as Kyle said, that we're our whole being. And, you know, unless the, these basic needs are met, it's going to be really challenging for us to be the most productive and creative mm -hmm. self. Thank you, Denise. Excellent. Um, so, Denise and Kyle, do you have uh, uh, some bullet points, you'd like, a few bullet points to share for people to remember 
about how leaders can best lead their teams and manage them and their mental health and help them with their mental health during this time of crisis? Yes. Um, the first one for me is just to recognize that there's going to be a new normal, as Denise said, and that productivity is going to look different. The second one is to ask questions and ask what your team needs, because every team is going to need something different. Every person is going to need something different. So really ask questions and don't be afraid to just sit back and take suggestions from your team and practice humility. And then third is to recognize this is a really key time for employer branding. And what you do right now, every Everyone is going to be watching how you treat your customers, how you treat your employees. So be mindful before you take steps as an executive or as a leader um, in any decisions. And okay, maybe a step you take may um, result in a decline in profits right now, but the long-term trajectory is going to res may result in happier employees, more profits later. So really be mindful of what decisions you're making right now. Mm. Yeah. And I kind of want to echo, um, I know I, I just sound like I'm uh, Kyle's uh, like echo person, but um, because it's it's so good and it's also based on science, which is that we are a whole being and that um, we have some of these basic needs that need to be met. And the only way the employer can know what those needs are is to ask them and to have conversations with each of the employees because everyone's going to have different needs. Mm -hmm. So thanks, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Well said.